A lawsuit filed in another state will likely prove costly for Mount Carmel Mayor Chris Jones. And court records show Mayor Jones owes his mother and uncles nearly $600,000 in damages, fees and interest after they filed a lawsuit against him and won. Nate Morbido discovered as part of the civil dispute, a West Virginia judge concluded Jones embezzled almost $400,000 from his dying grandmother. Again, this is a civil, not criminal matter, but the attorney representing Chris Jones's mother and uncles says he will eventually ask the district attorney to review the case. Mayor Jones, who told us he took care of his grandmother, argues his relatives think they're entitled to the money she gave him, which he says is not nearly as much as the lawsuit suggests. Nevertheless, he failed to fight the case in West Virginia and is now trying to prevent a Tennessee court from validating the judge's final order. ANC is his company, 5,000, another 732649 to ANC. Bill Nunley represents the uncles and mother of Mayor Chris Jones. Another 7,000. Family members who argue Jones used power of attorney to drain his grandmother's accounts. Another $4,190. While telling the woman her children were dead and unavailable to tend to her needs taking most of the money in the months before she passed away. It's a matter of taking something that didn't belong to you and then taking it in very large amounts from someone who was suffering from dementia and was quite elderly. In a final order granting judgment filed in West Virginia in August, a judge concluded Jones intentionally converted and embezzled hundreds of thousands of dollars, calling his conduct reprehensible. My concern is that this money has already been spent. Now, as the family prepares to collect what's left, Mayor Jones is trying to prevent that. So, did you actually embezzle or take this money? None of it? By phone, we talked to the mayor multiple times over the last several days. Your bottom line is, though, some relatives of yours think they're entitled to money that your grandmother left you. And you say they're not entitled to that money. In the end, he directed us to his attorney. David Darnell told us the mayor believes the allegations are without merit. Also adding, since Jones lives in Tennessee, a West Virginia state court did not have personal jurisdiction over him, and the matter should have been brought in federal court. An argument Nunley doesn't think Jones and his attorney will win. I would say that their chances of doing that are slim to none. While both Jones and his lawyer argue this is a private family matter. You don't think it is a story? Nunley can understand why the public would be interested. It certainly would raise serious questions about whether or not he should be serving in any sort of public capacity. While Mayor Jones argues the allegations are not true, the records show he never went to West Virginia to stand up for himself. He told us he never received a notice of any hearing or else he would have gone up there. Nate, thank you. Jones' attorney told us he expects the case to be resolved in Hawkins County within 90 days and it asked us to consider not running a story until then. David Darnell also told us he advised his client to not comment on any pending litigation.